Okay, for your assignment, I've created some new tests that you are going to have to write the code to pass rather than watching me walk through them. So let me show you what they uh, look like and, and how I get them. So uh, just to show you a little bit here, I've got an implementation branch where I do all my work. And if we look at that branch, the log, you can see that I've got one commit that has the test and a second commit that shows me passing the test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull into master uh, by merging that commit. That's probably enough right there. And what that's going to do is that's going to move get forward to that commit. And now if I relook at that file here, we can see that it's got what we had before, but it's got some new tests here. So let's just, uh, there we go. This one right here modifies the username to be 51 letters um, long, and that should be invalid. You have to figure out how to do that. What this one does is this creates a new uh, object called duplicate by copying the user that was already created, modifying its email. So now it's got a duplicate name also duplicate password but it's got a duplicate name but not a duplicate email and what we're doing now is notice here because we're checking duplicate we're not checking user we have to explicitly say the expect um, function we're going to call the expect method we're going to pass a duplicate and we, we want it not to be valid uh, user should still be valid because it was created first but duplicate should not be valid because it was created second and we do something very similar with the email. We duplicate the user, but now we change the name, so only the email is, is the same. And again, that duplicate should not be valid. And those are the tests that you need to figure out how to set the validations to work and get the R spec to work properly. And so you can merge or pull from my Git repository and, uh, well, and I put that on here now, get pushed to the public. It is now available for you to be able to grab those tests and run with them. And your assignment is to uh, include in your Git repository the code that passes those tests properly.